Good to have this personality in the building this afternoon. It's none other than Dr. Sonny Badu, and he is a gospel artist. He is uh, an inspirational speaker. He is a minister of God. He is a philanthropist. He's an author, and also he is a businessman. I mean, for, for quite some time now, he's actually been noted as one of the prominent people, gospel exports from Africa. And this afternoon, we have him in the studio. I mean, he has a brand new single. After 10 years, he is coming back to the motherland. In December, he has a bigger concert coming. So this afternoon, we'll talk through music journey, being a pastor, talk about the new song, and also how we gear up towards December. Good afternoon, and welcome to Metro Television. Good afternoon. It's it, so good to see you all. It's good to have you here. Thank sir. you so much. Yeah, Thank I mean, it, when we read about your bio, it's a lot. And you do so many things. But like I said in the intro, you are a man of God. You inspire people. You are an inspirational speaker. And most of the times, people forget that you are also human. So I want my first question to be, do you have low moments? Because for someone like yourself, every time people expect you to do the unthinkable. People want you to be there for them. But for you, as a human being, do you have low moments? Do you have moments where you feel, oh, let me just throw in the towel for this one i think you just answered it um everyone sometimes think you're superman right mm -hmm. so everyone expects you to be there for them yeah. and it's only a selected few mm -hmm. that kind of understand your emotions and yeah. what you go through so um yeah i um, in fact it is it is proven that sometimes highly gifted people go through depression more than any other person you know oh. um, michael jackson had a lot yeah. You'd finish concerts and yeah. be in a shower like three, four hours, just quiet. Um, um, sometimes when, you be, when you're when you an introvert as well, mm -hmm. there are a lot of quiet moments for you. Yeah. So yeah, being human, you go through all go of that. But thing. then the good thing is you master the art of overcoming it and being being above of all, all of that. You have to master it. So yeah. yeah. That's good. And though you were raised under a strict, I mean, um, Christian home, and your father is a reverend and also a prominent pastor in Ghana. I mean, what were some of the basic principles that were embedded in you that has defined the man we see today as Dr. Sonny Badu? Do you like the man you see right now? Of course. Yeah, it's as a result of mm -hmm. my foundation. Yeah. Um, Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can carry greatness, but when your foundation is not right, you could fail in life. So my father gave me a lot of discipline, not just my father, my mother as well. And um, I'm a result of every investment they made inside, of, they yeah. put inside of me. So, yeah. And even though your, your path seemed defined, I mean, people would have looked at you growing up and say, oh, because you're a pastor's son, of course you want to be a pastor. But then you had other ambitions. You wanted to be a footballer. That's interesting. Pastoral was the last thing I ever wanted to do. On, the, on your mind? Seeing how, what pastors go through. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you would see your dad praying for people, and the same people he's praying for betray him. You see him sacrificing for people. The yeah. same people he's sacrificing for it. You hear them say something about him, and you want to go and fight, right? Yeah. Um, um, he he employs some, and they just destroy the business. Mm -hmm. So, pastoral is something I've always run from. Yeah. Never in my life did I ever want to, you know, nipa Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, but it was like inevitable. When it's a call, you have no choice. So why didn't you embrace it at the early stages? If you there? see Jonah asking why he was running. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I I was okay. I've been okay with the music. I I was enjoying traveling, flying first class, enjoying the best of life. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want that? You go, they pick you up, concert done, sit on the flight, mm -hmm. you go back, they pay you good, right? But when the call is so strong, um, when you don't fulfill it, understand that other destinies are also waiting for f to yeah. take off. Yeah. And that's been my story. So now I've mastered the art of juggling the two and being a, fath a father, a husband, 
and everything because my yeah. kids are quite young. Yeah. So juggling the two is, has been interesting, but it's working. Yeah. My, my colleagues will come in, but that's my final question. I mean, embarking on ministering, you have also increased your fact that you are also a gospel artist. And people from different race, different places have admiration, deep respect for you. Would you say it is the ministering, it is the motivational speaking, or it comes from the music, the admiration? Where do you think it comes from? I, I think it's quite relative. It depends on who is admiring, because I've had people who've come to my church because they heard my soul say yes. Mm -hmm. I've had people who never thought I could sing and heard my messages, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh my God, oh, he sings too. Mm -hmm. So... 98% of my church members came out of my soul, says yes. They didn't know he could preach. And they're like, oh, my God, he could preach. This is my church. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I think it's the consistency mm -hmm. and the, the efforts mm -hmm. and the hard work, mm -hmm. the discipline that I've put in my craft, mm -hmm. i.e., whichever way, mm -hmm. that has caused the respect you're talking about. Yeah, the admiration is, is too much. Right? I, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. That was quite, I mean, interesting to know. But then again, um, in recent times, you've been considered as one of Africa's most successful gospel artists. How fulfilling is that? I've always had a plan moving. It's like a plane taking off and knowing where it's going. I knew that I needed to change the story of Africa gospel music because many years ago, I'm talking 20 years ago, Africa, we discovered that Africa was anointed, but Africa didn't have the global effect. Mm -hmm. right. Africa carried power, but we didn't have that global effect. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to change that. Mm -hmm. And I think the moment I recorded um, Colors of Africa in London, mm -hmm. Akuna Wakaita, so yeah. the level of excellence that we put in changed everything. Right. Um, when I came out with the Baba video, um, um, that was the first time Nathaniel Bassi also did his video. Right. Um, Imela and someone knocking at the door, and he used the same person, UV, that I used. So I think living in England at that time and having access to excellence, I wanted to change the story. And I'm glad that now we are combining the anointing with excellence. Very important. Okay. okay. So you are talking about, before, you know, combining... Before you come in, mm. um, I mean, Helen just mm. retreated that you are one of the yeah. best to come out of Africa. Do you feel Ghanaians appreciate that? Do you feel Ghanaians know the value you carry? Um... um uh, yes, I think they do. Um, Ghanaians that I've met across the world, the, the love is overwhelming, right. okay? Um, I, I'm, I'm, you go and you're like, oh my God, you know. So I think they, 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 they do. Okay. And, um, I am looking at uh, one comment you made about how some people create WhatsApp groups to insult you. And it's like they don't really give you that needed respect that, I mean, you've earned for yourself. Um, I wouldn't want to go in depth into that because that would overshadow um, what we really want to talk about. Yeah. We understand what the media space does. You know, um, I had the same question at the first place and I can talk to you privately about that, but not publicly <laughs> because then... They wouldn't talk about the concert. They would yeah. talk about this. This was 2022. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I bring a 2022 issue whilst I'm trying to promote a concert. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, every season has its emotions. And in that season, I went through my personal emotions, as mm -hmm. we all do. This is a new season. I'm excited. I'm back home. Mm -hmm. And let's make magic happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you were talking about how initially, you know, the anointing people, uh, and then we are having that, but then we are not able to get out there. Now, you have done this over a decade, uh, if not to say even two decades. I'm going to, uh, well, I'm right. going to my 30th year. Right. Mm. Okay. It's your 30th year. So it's over two decades. My first daughter is 22 years old. Oh, wow. 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 Yes. Interesting to know. Best daughter to I've got to rush back for her graduation. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Very nice to note. So, I mean, after many years of doing this and after, you know, you're trying to change the face of gospel music, will you say that you as a person, especially in regards to you being a gospel musician, are you fulfilled? Seeing where things are now, the level of respect, well, I live, Americans, the world gifts to Africans now, it's fulfilling. Um, years ago, and I can say that on authority, when they heard Africa, he's an African, 
they gonna get funny. Like he African, yeah. you know, they thought <laughs> we live on trees and all of that. Right, yeah. And it was strange when they wanna play African songs, they get those boom boom j- just to make it look like we we this whole Wakanda thing. But <laughs> it was just a bit irritating. But now, um, when they hear Africa gospel artists, they think about the Sonny Badoos, the Nathaniels, the mm. Sinatch, the Joe Metals, you know, and, and it's fulfilling that I was one of the very first people yeah. that dared to believe. And like now, whatever concert, if you check my track record, concerts yeah. I've done in America using them, it, it, it was easy to get them. In fact, this December one, most of them are like, are we going together? You know, that's the relationship I have yeah. with them. So I think looking back, I'm, I'm excited that I'm one of them that made it happen. Okay, that's yeah. so good to know. But then again, I mean, talking about you, we mentioned that you are also a man of God and you prophesy, you you have all those gifts to heal among others. But knowing you, first of all, we knew you as a singer. Uh, when did the gift of healing, prophecy among okay. others? Okay, so it's you? always been there. I just wanted the world to appreciate my musical side first. Okay. In fact, I was preaching more than I was singing. Most people mm-hmm. didn't know that. Right. Because I understood the mindsets of human beings. So so when it was time to start the church, people thought I'd already started. I had planned 10 years ago. Wow. I, I knew which state I was gonna do that, how it was gonna happen, and that's why it took off like that. So it's always been a part of me, but there's a time for everything. Right. There's a time you're wearing green, another time you want to wear blue, right? right? So, so everything was strategically planned. I'm just unveiling it now. Okay. Yeah. All right, before they come in again, I mean, uh, though I know you are not based here, but then somehow I know you uh, know how the music industry is. And in recent times, you know, we've had OMG even get into the Grammy board, among others. Uh, what will you really say about the Ghana music industry right now? I think the Ghana music industry, I'm not talking just about gospel, mm. is picking up their game. Okay. And everybody has to support, look, let me say something. Um, the media space knows how to, the Nigerian media space, I go to Nigeria a lot, I know all of them, they, they know how to hype their own, okay? Yeah. Kim Promise just won a big award. His song is so big. Yeah. How often are people talking about Kim Promise's song? Right. Then you have Black Sharif, right. who okay. is just, baby, I call him free by him. <laughs> but baby, <laughs> where this young man is going I said this at the first interview minister of entertainment minister of whatever they need to invest in this boy and once they do that other artists are going to up their game you have the kiddies you have the Kwame Eugens there's so many people that if we give them the right platform and the right hype they're going to they're going to contend with some of these greats. Yeah. Um, we saw Banner Boy um, feature Black Sharif right. on his concert. That's excellent. Banner just took Black Sharif to his platform. Who's making noise about it? Mm. Ghana has to talk about it. Yeah. It's not, also, Chiami and Senna Makanwasem. No, <laughs> we gotta have one agenda. Right. We're promoting Ghana music, gospel and mm-hmm. And circular, yeah. Yeah. it's Ghana music. Yeah. I can talk about it because yeah. I enjoy it too. I listen True. to some of that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so once we have one agenda, I kid you not, we've got the young men, and then we teach them a little bit of excellence. And a little, because I speak to, I speak with promoters as well. Some of them do stress promoters when they travel, and when you compare them to Nigerians, they'll say no. Nigerian wouldn't do this. Right. Ghanaians would do this. So we just got to teach them. Yeah. We're too quiet. This is what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't overspend. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do that. Understand this. And they will be fine. Yeah. We have the guys to do it. We, we do. We have them in. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> what investment. You see, every, right. t- every song has a timeline. <laughs> yeah. That song King Promise just did. Um, Terminator. Terminator. If we don't push it, it will expire. Right. Uh. Every mm. song has a timeline. This song is winning awards and the world is listening to yeah. it. But I said, mm. uh, we have taken on uh, an yeah, yeah, yeah. I can promise <laughs> I, I, I mean, it. I, mm. it. And it doesn't work that way. <laughs> right. the, if, 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 again, it has to be a Ghana agenda, oh. right? Mm-hmm. Who mm-hmm. are the big boys in there? The gatekeepers. Mm. Yeah. Who should have an agenda that, what are we doing with Ghana music? Okay, right. this time, let's push Black Sheriff. Let's push him. 
can promise his song. Let's also push that one there. Right. Black Sheriff just won an award, a big award. Yeah. Right. America just recognized it. Flow. It should yeah. be trending everywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. It, it should be everywhere. You understand? So yeah. it looks like foreigners know who we are. But our own people don't see it. But just on that one, do you feel that we support as Ghanaians, we support the negativity more than the positive stuff, really? You see, I've got to apply wisdom in answering that. Otherwise, that will be the main topic why I came here. (laughs) Um, However, (laughs) what I want to say is we just need to master the art Mm. of embracing positivity. We just need to learn from our fellow Nigerians. I'm always there. A Nigerian will fight their own, but if you step in to fight that one, right. we're all fighting True. you. True. That's how they are. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, rather than we embracing foreigners and making them feel like, you know, we yeah. have our own, let's start doing better. Mm. Let the old go. Let's start doing... We have everybody here. Um, when you go to clubs and they start playing Terminator, everybody loves it, right? True. Why are we not making noise about it? Yeah. You got it. So yeah. the old is gone. I don't want to talk about the old. Right. What can we do now? Terminator is our black sheriff. You have some of these young guys yeah. that are doing right. so well. Stone Boys. Have Stone, it. Stone oh, just yeah. did a song with yeah. Angeli Kijo. Kijo yeah. Yeah. That is big. Yeah. I would love to do a song with Angeli Kijo one day. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Angeli <laughs> Oh, my. Do you understand what the right. Stone Boy That's did? Big. Yeah. Right. It was Maybe people shoot. don't get it. Yeah. 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 Angeli Kijo, that video can take Stone Boy to... to um, BET. Big, yeah. that, that's big. What, what Stoneboy is doing is huge. Yeah. And Ghana needs to from Oh, Jesus Christ. But, but Sonny, <laughs> don't you think that it's like we don't really understand the, the okay, music business? Okay, you said it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said it. I'm not saying it. Let's pick let, yeah. let, right. let, let, right. let, it. But what you say, yeah. you said I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> you won't say it, but that. you are <laughs> agree. Okay, let's pick on something you agree on. Your single. Your single. That's, um, is it, it, I want to pronounce Eno it. Jari. Eno Jari. Uh, what, what language is that? It's, it's um, from the, oh, I'm uh, okay, DBM in Tiatme, but it's from the, uh, not a do state, another state. So it's, it's, a, Niger- Nigerian, it's one of the Nigerian yeah, languages. Yeah, yeah. Meaning? It's the suffering has ended. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the lady you saw in there, yeah, that's on her the, name. On the cover. The, yeah, that's her name, Eno Jari. And that's, like I always tell people, God, everybody needs a destiny helper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For me, that's my destiny helper. Mm-hmm. Myself and my family and her and her husband, her family. Mm-hmm. And her story is so inspiring. And that's why I put it in the video. Now, that song came out of a Thanksgiving day at church. While she was thanking God, I started, whilst we were playing, I heard, do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. do, 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 do. do again, do, is thank you, Jesus, mm-hmm. in their language. Okay. So then... I was like, mm, I could do something with that song. So I went back to the studio and sat down, and a thousand songs wouldn't be enough for all the things you've done yeah. from January, February, March. Yeah. A, a song ready. Um, so it was yeah, rhyming. It was, it was, it was inspired yeah. by that. But you, let, me, let me clear this. So, first, I, I thought you were Nigerian. You're yes, Ghanaian, 100% or 50 50. Um, you see, that one, I'll leave that as a mystery. <laughs> it, it, it helps the market. So um. No, I think Daddy has an Akan name. Mm-hmm. So I'm, th- I, I'm thinking Daddy mm. might be Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. But Mommy, I'm not, I, like, I researched sure, and researched right? and researched. Uh-huh. I just want to, wanted to confirm. So let's leave that as a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because right. in Nigeria, right. they say, are you an Omar <laughs> Nigerian? I'm like, yeah, man. But this song is more <laughs> like, <laughs> All the, yeah. the song I'm doing with Joe Metal, I have mm-hmm. a song with Joe Metal. I, it's Nigerian. I have Idima Nigerian. Hey. You know. Baba, open Doc, the yeah. Doc, yeah. you are not favoring right. us. Uh, no, I am. I'm not man. But I think <laughs> those kind of songs <laughs> sells more. Hey, listen, right. Ghanaians are listening more, to right? Nigerian yes. songs. Now, Mr. Mia, Nigerian, you want to say, yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> I mean, having noticed that Nigerians, right. when they sing, yeah. they try to add some tree elements yeah, in there. But I have got a lot of yeah. tree stuff oh, coming yeah. as well. Um, I, I think naturally I gear towards them because I grew up with them. It was okay. Nigerians that embraced me. I was at okay. like, Winners Chapel. I'm okay. um, in London for a long time. Mm-hmm. They, I literally grew up with Nigerians. So I understand them. Yeah. Mindset. That's mm-hmm. why I'm always there. I, in fact, I sing some of their songs and even some of the artists, they cannot sing it the way I sing well, it. Right. So I think I'm kind of good with languages as well because um, okay, yeah. in South Africa, I'll sing and you think I'm South African too. Wow, wow. So that's, I, that's... I think that's 
my mot my, my dynamic um mm -hmm. thing also helps as well. That's really good. And you are not dynamic in just that. I mean, we mentioned that you are also an altar. And I want to know: Are we to expect any book from you soon? I've I know you've written books, books like uh, "The Worshippers Cry." Those and are old ones. Old I ones, have so, so many books right. I've written, but I'm not promoting books today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you are not even willing to write anyone soon. You just want to. Oh no! Tell I'm you. I'm. When I'm preaching, I talk about the books. Okay. I'm, I've, I've written so many. Mm. But uh, right now, I want to do yeah, the talk about want the concert. To yeah. More about the concert yes, now. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yeah. That's quite so, interesting to know. Yeah. After mm. 10 years, yeah. after 10 years, Sony Badu is coming to have a concert in right. Ghana. And I think it will be one of the biggest concerts. Because in, in Ghana, most of the time, the secular artists take over. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're in always December, doing that. Yeah. Right. Uh, aside the fact that 10 years you have chosen to come to mm. the motherland to have a bigger concert, what exactly made this time that appropriate time for you to come back and organize it? And I, 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 um, I think life happened. Um, I have a young family. I have, I have, I have six children. Um, I had to take care of my family. They're young. I can't be going up and then be an absentee father, right? And um, I also had to take care of the church, all of that within 10 years. Um, but now that everything is settled, I think it's time to come back. And of course, I had to prepare adequately for it. Hence, releasing the No Jare, releasing yeah. all these songs yeah. just yeah. to let people know that I'm, right. I'm back yeah. in the scene. And so um, I'm very well prepared. Mm -hmm. If you've checked my track record, we sold out Dome. Do you, I don't know how old were you, you, were, you were at that time. Do you remember my concert at the Dome? Oh, dear. Do you remember the Dome? Yeah. yeah. Accra conference. The conference yeah, right. It wasn't yeah. like the one. It, no, no, no. It was a Dome. And um, that's where Sako, or everybody used to do it. So I, I wanted that. Yeah. Yeah. It was all like the canopy. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. the people outside were more than those who were inside. inside. And there was a, there, we almost had a stampede because it caught fire. Ooh. The stage caught fire and all of that. Um, I've done monumental places, um, stadiums and mm -hmm. all of that. So we, we had to think through. I don't want it to rain again. Right. Um, uh, so I wanted an <laughs> indoor place because right. it rained in Accra, it rained in Kumasi. I was in Ivory Coast, I think, last year. Open, it rained. Mm -hmm. the, whenever I start opening the floodgate, it will rain. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this time around, as much as I know, um, it's going to be exciting. I want people to enjoy the entire uh, project, the entire mm -hmm. production from start to finish. So we chose indoors for that strategic reason. I, I want to be a, a little biased here. I mean, people love you in Ghana. I, 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 really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. you. Ghana forever counts here, dog, Jai. Thank you. You know, and I was thinking that if Sonny Badu is coming to Ghana, one of the places that you need should be the stadium. I, I, that's what I just... Um, explained yeah. that I'm, because we, you are scared of the we, my showers of blessing. I understand, <laughs> but there's also technicalities with it. Okay. I was in Ivory Coast last year, and they checked the weather. Everything was supposed to be okay, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, from a before so I knew it was going to rain. Now this wow. is what happened: mm -hmm. it destroyed most of the equipment. Mm. Oh. Um, of course, whoever's owns that equipment mm -hmm. right. yeah. 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 so um, most of the equipments were shut down mm -hmm. but I wasn't going to leave because people had paid yeah. so I stood in the rain and I told my team let's go Mano it was fun but then we we did not give them Hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yes. uh, now we're in a crazy season yeah. where it could rain anytime. anytime. I, yeah. you can take the risk and I stand in this rain for you. <laughs> but I want this to be an experience. Mm -hmm. You know, for, like what we always do mm -hmm. indoors mm -hmm. and good out big arenas yeah. in America. And yeah. I want it here. Yeah. So that's yeah. the reason. However, when the ticket comes out and maybe within two weeks we're sold out, mm -hmm. then we'll think about doing two dates. Okay. So, that so that's perfect. that's the uh, so they so it, it it will all depend on the ticket. And to be honest with you, I told the team I want the minimum amount as much as possible. Like I, I just want people to um, come. If yeah. I if I get more sponsors, yeah, we, we, we could even do it free. The thing is, right. the Grand Arena yeah. should be full. Yeah. 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 So so I want to do perhaps two shows okay. back to back. Mm -hmm. Friday, uh, Saturday, and maybe 
um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. Hopefully, Grand Arena is going to be available. <laughs> I'll talk to EOL or somebody. <laughs> it, will, it will be. But you know, every, every time when someone is picking a theme mm-hmm. or a title for their show, right. there should be a reason. Mm-hmm. Rhythms of Africa. Mm-hmm. What, what, what inspired that? When you watch what I do, I'm always deliberate. Check my track records, my, my song, my albums, Colors of Africa, mm-hmm. Rhythms of Africa, mm-hmm. Sounds of Africa. Mm-hmm. Why? Because in the, all of, on the global scene, mm-hmm. when you want to talk about an African artist, I've always wanted you to think about Sonny Badu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And w- once, once the globe sees Africa, they want to... They want to, they're attracted to you. Yeah. I am known in America for my contribution to Africa gospel music. That's why I'm honored by Americans there. Mm-hmm. So I rep, I'm a proud African and I wear that, that sleeve very well. Um, this one is special because, of course, I've spoken about Ghana and the year of return and all yeah. of that. So I realized that in, there's nothing like gospel something that a gospel artist would do for the year of return. Yeah. So um, I've got so many Jamaicans um, all over the world. I'm in Jamaica in two weeks. So many Americans who want to come back home. So there's going to be a time for them to go on tour, go to, so just as the year of return, but in mm-hmm. a gospel, um, you know, uh, yeah. um, oh. dimension. Yeah. That's the whole point. Okay. And it sounds big and beautiful if it's Rhythms of Africa. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. is it, is it going to be a yearly thing? That's the whole point. Right. We want to do great. it every year. Okay. Yeah. That's the whole point. So if you miss this year, you have to wait for next year. Right. <laughs> but then again, if someone is coming for this particular one, what should they come expecting? Listen. listen. I mean, you mentioned experience. I mm-hmm. owe Ghana that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you followed, were you at my stadium concert? No, I wasn't there. Yeah. Were you there? No. Okay. How, how old were you then? <laughs> You're probably young, right? Right. Yes. Um, we are go. I, okay, once it's a paid event, mm. it's not going to be a church event. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. so a lot of people would do a paid event and give you the same thing you get at church. Right. Jump and no, no, no. It's not going to be like that. <laughs> this is a show. Okay. Well planned process. That's why even the team is a blend of gospel promoters, and you have the um 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 George uh, George Quay mm-hmm. and the Arnold and. You have the, okay. um, you have the, t- so I'm, I'm combining the yeah. best of the best. I want everybody's point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I want the best, you know, yeah. um, uh, I want excellence as well. So okay. expect anointing mm-hmm. combined with excellence. Mm-hmm. In fact, don't be overexcited because some people <laughs> will have to be carried home. I, that's a guarantee. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Um, but I'm excited about that. Um, I've seen Andy here. Andy's doing great. ZK, everybody. I, I've just, I told the team, listen, I want the A team on this one. I want the best of the best. And they were all recommended yeah. by the best. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, we're going to go all out on this. I mean, the names you are mentioning are yeah. heavyweights, Arnold, George, and everyone. I said it. Mm. But I was laughing because we used to say that in December in Ghana, it's more like the secular. Secular, there's artists. nothing gospel. Yeah, we have right. the Afro Chellas, Afro Nation. But then we've also said that we want gospel artists to, to also be on these platforms. Yes. Not only have their show. But also be honest, maybe Sonny Badu is in Ghana and there's Afro Africa. Africa. And that's why we yeah. have Rhythms of Africa. Okay. Yeah. You know, we even thought of the Independence Square. Okay. Yeah. We were like, no, yeah. security. Because yeah. Yeah. we have a blend of all kinds of people, people. Yeah. that would come. Stadium. Mm-hmm. It might rain. Right. We might have True. issues. Let's yeah. try the first mm-hmm. one indoors. Yeah. I know, I know, touch wood, it's going to be sold out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we'll figure out, okay, now they understand right. what it's going to be like. So next year, we're going to move back to the... It's not that we have... It's not like we haven't done the stadium yeah. before. Right. We yeah. have, yeah. right? So um, um, hopefully, God willing, next year, we'll do it bigger. Okay, so it's on the 9th of December. December. Grand Arena. Mm-hmm. Um, you said we should wait for the tickets and everything. It's um, one of the... Th- I'm, I'm here to release um, for the press lounge and all of okay. that. And then we will release all the artists coming on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then tickets and everything but one with the press launch uh next week okay. yeah yeah i mean it's been an insightful conversation and it's, it was a great privilege having you on our table i have enjoyed myself yeah, i feel sandwiched <laughs> yeah. but I'm, I'm, i've enjoyed myself yeah. thoroughly yeah but, but finally finally something that i love to ask people and i saw it when you posted um on your your instagram page you did a hashtag legacy mm-hmm. i always ask people that 
when everything is said and done, what do you want to be remembered for? As in when they mention the name Sonny Badu, Dr. Sonny Badu, what do you want people to remember, to be stick? Like, to be stuck with them. I would recoin this. What do I want my children to remind, remember yeah. me for? Oh. Yeah, and your children, not only your, your biological children, everyone. Biological. Biological. Okay. I live for my children. Okay. Okay. They, they are everything to me. Okay. And I'm deliberate with everything I do. I was um, there in a private school um, in America, and even their school mm -hmm. um, does research on me. You know, and I got there, I went to pick them up and they were just excited that our dad, we were watching our dad, you know, so I'm trying to let them know that this is the Badu legacy. Okay. Mm. And you guys can do, will do better yeah. than I am. The world will appreciate whatever I've done. But when the world leaves, it's your family that will yeah. stay with you. It's <laughs> your family that cannot deny you. So in this season of my life, I'm living for my wife and children. Very important. It's interesting how your private life is not really on social media. You just give us just because I want them to enjoy life. Okay. I mean, the, um, it's it's it gets embarrassing even in America. They they hardly they have to move with protocol and everything. Okay. I kid you not. It gets okay. crazy even at church. Cameras cannot be put on them. Yeah. Um, but they understand it. Yeah. Right. However, yeah. they try to sneak in there and uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's just for them to live yeah. their life. Yeah. yeah. You, you understand? Yeah. If you want to be a star, work hard, and you'll mm. be a star like mm. that. But you're not the star. Okay. That he's the star. That's what I, you know, <laughs> like I normally tell them. So. I, I wanted to ask like uh, how there are six. Mm -hmm. mm. How many female? How many male? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I knew it. Don't worry. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very but much. My first son is Sonny Badu. Okay. So he has a lot of shoes to wear. Okay. Yeah, he has a lot of shoes, and and that he wears it well. other son. He don't worry about that. He <laughs> he, he wears it very well. I wow. mean, when I'm leaving, I tell him take care of the girls. Mm. Then he sits on my seat and says, "I'm the boss." <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's awesome. it's good building his mindset, yeah. letting him understand the responsibility yeah. he has, because I've. There's a big shoe for him to wear, yeah, yeah. very True. big shoe. Yeah. But I think I'm, I'm grateful to God for giving me the strength to hold the fort till this time. Yeah. It hasn't been easy, especially from where we come from. But then um, God also gives you, gives you that resiliency, right? Makes yeah. you strong to withstand all the challenges. Right. So I enjoy the ups and lows, the good and the bad. It comes with it. I love it. <laughs> I actually okay. promised him it's a 30 minute interview, but we've exceeded it. Yeah. That's I'm okay. fine. I mean, okay. Sonny Badu live in Ghana on the 9th of December 2023, Grand Arena. You should follow him on all social media to get the information. Next week, he promises that the press release will give us all the information, all the other artists that will be on the bill that particular day. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.